Welcome to Karma Tech guys. In today's video, we are going to take a look at all the settings option available for Finder. Now, let's say if you're using Finder very frequently and whenever you open Finder, it is always taking you to a particular page or particular folder. In my case, as you can see, I have opened Finder and it is taking me to download. So no matter how many times I open new Finder window, it will always take me to downloads. Now, if in case you want the startup page to be different, if you want another folder to be visible each and every time uh, you open Finder, then all you need to do is go and select Finder option over here at the top and then select settings. Once you select settings, make sure you select general tab and under general, you can see there are there is an option of new Finder window. Now currently downloads is selected, which is why whenever I open Finder, it will take me to downloads folder. So if you want to change, you can select this drop down and let's say if you want to select Macintosh HD. So whenever you select Macintosh HD, now if I close this Finder window and if I try to open new Finder window, this time it will take me to Macintosh HD page. So you can change the location from here. Now uh, there are much more options available in others. So if you select that drop down, if you select others option, uh, let's say if you want to go to applications, select application and then select choose option over here. Now, if I close this window and if I open new finder window, it will take me to applications page. So this is how you can change the uh, new finder window show option. Uh, you can choose whichever option you want. Now, there are much more options available in terms uh, if you want to change anything on your desktop. So let's say if you want your hard disk to be visible on uh, desktop, you can check this box and now you can see uh, Macintosh HD or the hard disk is visible over here. If you don't want, make sure you uncheck this box and it is gone. If you want your connected servers to be visible on the desktop, make sure you check this box and the connected servers will appear over here. Also, uh, if you connect any external memory card or drive to your Mac, if you check this box, that external drive will be visible on the desktop. If you don't want, you can uncheck this box. So you can, uh, you know, tweak the settings as per your requirement. So these are the basic settings for general tag. Uh, now, if you go on tags option, there are, you know, few tags option available over here. So let's say if I open new finder window, currently you can see project red, orange, all these tags are already selected over here. And if I go in finder window, you can see all those tags are visible over here. Now, let's say if I don't want project tag, uh, tag to be visible over here, you can just make sure you can go on this finder setting window. You can uncheck this box and from tags project is gone. Similarly, if you don't want red to be visible over here, you can, you know, click on this minus option. You can uncheck this box and now you can see red is gone. And again, if you want to make it visible, uh, make sure to check this box. It will be back again on the finder window over here you can see so this is how you can do some basic settings now what is tag uh, let's take a look at it so let's say if you want to mark any particular file or folder if you want to tag it and no matter in whichever color you tag you can find that directly in this tag option so let's say if i tag this logic folder if i select the folder if i right click on my trackpad or mouse if i select red over here if you want to add a red tag click on this icon now you can see it will add the tag over here and if i go in red option over here uh, i can find that particular file or folder in tags similarly again if you go in other option let's say if i want to mark music as green tag i can add green tag over here and now whenever i go to green tag over here in the finder window i will find that particular folder or file so you can add tags and you can directly access all of them under the tags option now if you want to remove tag all you can do is you can just right click and if you have selected green tag you will get an option of remove green if you select that now the tag is gone if i visit to green tag again it is gone and if i go to music that green tag has been removed so this is how you can remove the tag select the folder right click and remove red for now so whichever color tag you have choose you will get an option to remove it now let's take a look at another setting which is sidebar settings so you get multiple options over here uh, these options uh, you can you know hide or you can make it visible over here on the sidebar on the finder window so let's say if you want airdrop to be visible on the finder bar you have selected it and it is visible over here if you don't want airdrop to be visible in finder window you can uncheck this box and now you can see airdrop is gone Similarly, if you don't want applications to be visible in the finder, uncheck this box and application is gone. To make it visible again, check this box 
application is visible to make it visible airdrop once again check this box airdrop is visible so this is how you can choose whichever option you want to be visible whichever option you want to be uh, you know make it visible on the finder tab you can select it after that you can go in advanced settings and over here if you want to uh, show the file name extensions you can check this box if you want to show warning before changing an extension so let's say uh, if i go in downloads option so there are a few uh, you know fonts over here uh, currently you can see the extension over here is otf if i go in other font you can see there are multiple uh, extensions visible over here so if you want to change any extension but before changing it if you want that warning you can select this box so let me show you an example if i select this particular file if i want to rename it if i want to change that extension if i want to make it to ttf so before changing it now if i press enter you can see it is showing me a warning message that are you sure you want to change the extension from otf to ttf if you want to change it uh, you can change it if you want to keep that previous uh, extension you can keep that so with the help of show warning before changing an extension you will always get uh, you will always get a warning message before changing the extension now if you don't select this box so let's say i uncheck this box and now if i try to change the extension of this let's make it uh, ttf once again if i press enter now you can see it did not show me any warning message directly the extension is changed so if you want that warning message you can always check this box so let me make it back to otf now the next thing is show warning before removing from icloud drive so if you are removing anything from your icloud drive and then if you want a warning message you can always check this box next thing is remove items from the bin after 30 days before that there is one more thing show warning before emptying the bin so whenever you are uh, you know uh, deleting all the things from your recycle bin it will always show you a warning message but if you don't want to empty your recycle bin manually you want it to be automatic process you can check this box which says remove items from for from the bin after 30 days so whenever you check this box if you have added uh, if you have deleted uh, any file from your pc or your mac and it is in your recycle bin if you don't uh, do anything after 30 days that file will be removed automatically so you can check this box if you want that now these are some simple settings which you can do related to finder so i hope this video was helpful if it was, uh, you can give a thumbs up to this video and before going, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.